This is Alyssa Conway here with Pet Food Forum TV, now speaking with Jeff Alex, Global Pet Nutrition Marketing Manager for DSM Nutritional Products. Thank you for joining us, Jeff. You're presenting at Pet Food Forum on how marine algae as an ingredient in pet food might help benefit senior dogs. Can you please explain what marine algae is? Sure. Marine algae is actually um, it's an oxygen generating plant-like material and marine means that it just grows in the ocean so an example of that would be seaweed. Seaweed is a marine algae though this is not seaweed that we're using it's in the same family you might say and um, yeah, and, but we don't actually harvest it out of the ocean. We actually grow it up in fermentation tanks like you do in a beer process. It's like yeast, so you just kind of grow it up, and so it's a nice clean process. And it offers omega-3 fatty acids, correct? That's correct. So why do you believe marine algae is a better source of omega-3s than other sources? Well, there's several reasons. Um, one of this is that right now the pet food industry, the aqua industry, uh, the feed industry in general, and the human food industry use fish oil as a source of uh, DHA and EPA, these omega-3s. And uh, we have a couple of issues. One is that we're overfishing the ocean. So it's, there's a problem with, um, there's a lot of uh, limitations on where we can fish in the world and what fish we can pull out. A lot of it, most of it comes from uh, anchovies. They're fished off the, off the coast of Chile and Peru and also the Gulf of Mexico. And, and uh, because of that, we, and there's such a high demand for DHA and EPA source from fish oil that eventually we're running out of fish oil uh, is the problem. So this is a nice sustainable place because fish actually get their DHA and EPA from algae in the ocean. So we just basically take the source of it and grow up in fermentation tanks. And uh, so it's a good sustainable solution. And why are these omega-3s so important for pet health and nutrition? Well, omega-3s play a very important role in uh, all life stages. So we see that DHA is important in the development of the, the like puppies, for example, um, in brain development and eye development. And it plays a role also in inflammation responses like EPA. Uh, and then we did a study where we actually looked at it for cognitive function, which is tied to memory, brain development, and vision, vision function. So it all ties together. And this DSM study you participated in was whether the omega-3s in marine algae can help senior dogs. So what were your findings? Oh, the findings were amazing. We um, incorporated our, our uh, algae into um, just commercial dog food. We tested it. The findings showed an incredible increase uh, in uh, mental performance of these older dogs, in uh, visual performance of these older dogs. It's very, very similar responses we've seen with this type of product in uh, the human area for human cognitive function. So it's the same thing. And besides DHA Gold, a marine algae ingredient, DSM offers many other ingredients and products um, and related services to pet food manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So how else are you able to help them meet their market needs? Well, uh, our core business is vitamins. We're one of the world's largest vitamin producers, still uh, mainly uh, producing in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, we've actually been selling uh, vitamins, vitamin premixes to the pet food industry since the early 60s. Um, we've done a lot of research in the area of companion animals with vitamins. We also are a big carotenoid producer, so beta carotene, astaxanthin, canthaxanthin, zeaxanthin. Uh, these, are, these are core to our business. And then we have nutraceuticals and a very, very large uh, nutritional lipids division now as well, which is where the DHA gold comes from. Great. And DSM operates globally. Do you find that challenges and needs differ by market, market to market? Actually, the health benefit needs of companion animals is very similar all around the world. And actually, because I think uh, communication is so easy around the world, we find that even pet owners um, have the same concerns about their pets, and so it all comes together. I would say the biggest thing is that we see a trend towards uh, smaller breed dogs and cats. So we see we're dealing more with this extended life in the senior and geriatric phase. And so um, we see that, for instance, uh, the, chi the development in China is mostly in Shanghai and, and in Japan it's more smaller breed animals, so it's sort of appearing there first, but in, in Europe and in Latin America and in North America, we're starting to see this, this come around. Great, and what do you think of Pet Food Forum's move to Kansas City? Amazing, this is great. <laughs> this is something I've been looking forward to for a number of years now, because I know this is really central to a lot of the pet food manufacturers, our customers. So I know that putting it here, it's a little bit lower cost for them to come here. Some, a lot of them can drive here. And so it gives an opportunity for everyone to attend uh, from these companies. So, and I think we've seen that right in the numbers of people that are becoming to the Pet Food Forum this year. So really, I'm very, very excited about it. Great. Awesome. Thank you for your time, Jeff. Oh, thank you.